In this lesson, we'll discuss working with layers. Let's start by understanding what it is to use layers. You see, objects in a Visio drawing can be organized into layers, which allows control over various properties of all objects on a particular layer at once. You can control whether layer objects are printed, selectable, or even visible in a drawing. Take, for example, a town map drawing. You could put the roads on one layer, sewage lines on a second layer, water lines on a third, and buildings on a fourth layer. Then you could lock certain layers so that you can prevent accidentally moving or selecting objects on other layers while working with your active layer. Additionally, you could then print the map showing only the roads and buildings. But heed my warning, be careful when working with layers, as this takes some considerable planning. Working with layers can be complex, and a drawing page can have multiple layers, each with its own multiple properties, and any shape can be on one or on all layers. Layers are often found in AutoCAD or CAD drawings, which can be imported into Visio for viewing. Let's start by identifying where the Layers button can be found. It's on the Home tab, and it's in the Editing section, all the way on the right. Here's your Home tab editing section here and the layers option is the one that looks like several layers here. When we click the button for layers you can see that we have two options assign to layer and layer properties. Assign to layers will allow us to select an object on our sheet and then assign it to a particular layer. Layer properties will open the layer properties panel and allow us to discuss the various layers that are in our drawing. For now you can see I wanted to show you this here automatically when we added in a container, connectors, and a callout this automatically created layers for us in our drawing. I did not add these layers. They were added automatically by Visio. And you can see that there are several features shown here several options, if you will. When the callout was created, you can see that there are five items in our drawing. Now you can only see one individual callout, but if this was modified, removed, deleted, several numbers would be indicated here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, this includes the number of elements included in our callout. We'll discuss what each of these options means in a later lesson. For now, I just wanted to point out to you that simply put, when you add certain elements into your drawing, a layer is created for those elements. We'll get into this in much more detail later. And that completes this lesson on working with layers.